So, I've sat down and I've done the maths for the permutations for this last two rounds of the Six Nations. What would need to happen and when who plays who to see um, who would come where. That didn't make a lot of sense, but you know what I mean. Um, yeah, um, take these with a pinch of salt as I did them myself and I'm not the brightest person in the world. So, yeah, but without further ado, here we go, here's the permutations for the last two rounds. I would have done it for the last round, but there's several likely scenarios. I'm not going to say nailed on going to happen, but likely scenarios, which mean that several places could be decided before the final round. So we're going to start top down, which means we're going to start off with Ireland. Um, now for Ireland to come first, it's pretty simple. Ireland just need to bonus point beat England. And no matter what happens in the Ireland Scotland game in the last round, Ireland have won the Six Nations. Um, so yeah, pretty simple there. For Ireland to come second, they'd need to lose both their games, and for one of either England or Scotland to lose their other games, so Scotland need to lose to Italy or England need to lose to France, and then to come third, if they lose both their games to England and Scotland, and both England and Scotland win their other games, so Scotland beat England. Italy and England beat France. Um, for Ireland, 4th, 5th and 6th is impossible. They cannot come those positions, so Ireland are guaranteed a top 3 finish. Probably first, but yeah, I'm not going to predict where they come. I'm just going to give you the facts. You can, I'll let you figure out yourself. So yeah, Ireland, they, they probably have top spot nailed down this week. Um, I'll do a preview on the Ireland-England probably on Thursday when the teams come out, but um, yeah. I'd expect Ireland to get that done there, to be brutally honest with you. But yeah. Moving on to second place, which is of course Scotland. Now for Scotland to come first, they would need to win both their remaining games against Italy and Ireland and they'd need England to beat Ireland. Bonus points, if Scotland get at least one more bonus point, they've done it, basically. Um, yeah. No matter what happens in the England-France game, if now that's pretty unlikely, but I know I can't see anyone beating Ireland. But if both Scotland and England beat them, um, yeah, it will come down to um, Scotland beating Italy. Um, to come second again, this is fairly likely. This can happen this week. If Scotland get a bonus point win over Italy, and England don't get any bonus points, no losing, no try bonus point, no win against Ireland, and then Scotland will come second. So this could happen this week, which means that. Going into the Scotland Ireland on Super Saturday on the final game, it could just be for the kind of side um, trophies. So Ireland are fighting for the Slam, the Triple Crowns on the line, you know, stuff like that. So it could actually pride for it for an entertaining game. I can actually can see this happening. Um, you know, Scotland bonus point beating Italy Ireland. So yeah, um, to come third for Scotland. If Scotland lose both their games and England get a result in either of their games, basically. So if England beat, say England, say Scotland lose both their games and England beat France, then Scotland would come third, England would come second. Again, I'll get to England in a second. Scotland could come fourth if they lose both their games. England beat Ireland and France beat England. So, again... I know it's pretty unlikely that that's going to happen, but it is possible. So I'll, I'll say, you know what, like, rugby's a funny game, anything can happen. And then for Scotland, to my knowledge, 5th and 6th is basically impossible. I know they're in touching distance of two games, games-wise, but, you know, 5th and 6th play each other. So, you know, there's stuff like that you have to look at. Now, next up on the table is third, which is England. And now England can come anywhere in the table still. Now, some of the lower down ones and some of the higher up ones are a bit tough, but it's doable. So for England to come first, they would need to beat, uh, beat Ireland and France, so win their two last games. And they did Scotland to beat Ireland, but lose to Italy. So, yes. Um, to come second... England would need to win one of the, at least one of their games and Scotland lose both their games. So say England beat France and Scotland lose to both Italy and Ireland, England would come second. To come third, 
they basically just need to match Scotland for wins if if um, Scotland win one minimum, England beat France and Wales lose at least one game to Italy or France, then England will be third. For England to come fourth, they'd need to lose both their games. And Wales and Italy lose at least one game each. So say Wales lose to France and Italy lose. Wales lose to Italy and Italy lose to Scotland. Say. For England to come fifth, they'd need to not get a single point, no bonus points, nothing from both their games. And both, or no, or either Wales and Italy to win a game each minimum either of them and then to come last it's possible they'd need to lose both the remaining games without any bonus points both Wales and Italy would need to win one game and get a losing bonus point in the other so say Wales beat, beat France Italy beat Wales but Wales get a losing bonus point out of Italy and Italy get a losing bonus point out of Scotland or try bonus points or whatever then England would come last in the Six Nations I know it's unlikely but it is still possible moving on to France in fourth now France yes they've gotten away with a couple of games they should arguably at the bottom but they are in fourth um, France first is actually now impossible for France and um, they cannot come first um, to come second, if both Scotland and England lost, lost both games and France lost, uh, won both their games, then France would jump both Scotland and England and come second. Um, for England, to, for France to come third, if England lose both the remaining games, basically, and which would mean that France would beat England. So it doesn't really matter what happens in the France Wales game. Um, yeah. Um, to come fourth, France would need to beat Wales, but lose to England, and Italy would need to lose at least one game. So say, France beat Wales, England beat France, Scotland beat Italy, France would come fourth. For France to come fifth, they'd need to lose both their games, but Italy lost both their games. Why it's Italy, not Wales, is because France play Wales, and for France to lose both their games, Wales would need to lose both their games. So, And then for... France to come last. France would need to lose both their games without any bonus points, and Italy would need to win one game minimum. Um, yeah. So, unlikely, I know, for France to come bottom. Or is it? And this is why you start to get in the thing that the lower down ones are possible. Moving on to Wales now. First, again, is impossible, just like it's for France. Um. Second, they'd need to win both games with a bonus point. Scotland to lose both games and get no bonus points. England to lose to Ireland and to draw with France. Again, very unlikely. But possible. Um, to come third, Wales need to win both games. And England would lose to France with no bonus points. To come fourth, Wales would need to win both games and France would just need to lose to England. They could get any bonus points. To come fifth, I mean, basically, whoever wins the Italy Wales, I think, would come fifth. Um, and then to come sixth, they'd just lose both their games and they'll come sixth. And then we'll move on to Italy, who are very similar to Wales because they've got the same number of points. First is impossible. Second, win both games. Um, Scotland lose to Ireland. England lose to Ireland and draw with France. Wales would need to beat France with no bonus points. For Italy to come third, again, they'd need to win both their games with England losing both and France getting no bonus points and then to come fourth win both France lose both then to come fifth beat Wales <laughs> and then to come last lose both their games so it does kind of get simpler as you go down the table 
as you kind of look where they are. So simpler for Ireland to come first than it is for them to come third. It's simpler for Wales to come sixth and fifth than it is for them to come second or third. But it's still possible. Um, so yeah, there's the permutations. Um, again, take them a pinch of salt. I did them myself. I'm not the brightest human being on this planet. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. Let me know where you th what you think is going to happen. Again, I'll preview the games when the teams come out. If you want a rough prediction, I think Ireland will get the job done at first. I think Scotland will get the job done at second. And then I can't call it after that. Because, you know, who knows for France, who knows for England, who knows for Wales and who knows for Italy. All of these teams look like they're possible of winning both games and all these teams look like they're possible of losing both their games horrifically. So we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. Until next time, I shall see you legends later.